Baby. You okay? Oh, I don't want to get up. I know, but the shower will make you feel so much better. <laughs> God. I don't we both to. sound terrible right now. I don't want Come on. To. Come on, let's go. My body hurts. Disregard how we look, guys. Me and Mariah are absolutely terribly sick right now. That's why we're wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt because we are freaking cold. Baby, don't worry. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I haven't been this sick since high school. That's right, baby. You look so cute. I wish you weren't sick. Uh, you can just tell. Walk slowly, because you know, it sucks. Being cold. What are your symptoms right now? My body hurts really bad. Your body hurts? Are you cold or? Yeah, I'm freezing. You have the shivers? Yeah. <sighs> you guys, just to give a little background. We were in, obviously, in Boston for a week, and Bill, the first time we get back, got really sick. Yeah, we're actually sick at the same time. Yesterday, I went to urgent care, and they actually tested me positive for flu type A, <laughs> which I guess is the worst type of flu you can get. I had a 103 degree fever. It was terrible. I'm still super sick, but now Mariah's getting it. She got it like two days after me, so I think I'm getting a little better, even though I'm still really sick, and I think she's starting to get worse. So I hope you don't get a fever, because I heard people that have flu, like 90% of them get fevers. I know. All right, let me go grab you that shower stuff. Hold on. So Mariah actually bought me these Vicks vapor or, or whatever shower Got things. Bigger? Yeah. Holy All God. you do is you pop these in the shower, and I swear it makes your throat <laughs> feel so good. But let's get this girl in some hot water, and then after we gotta explain to you why getting sick right now has been the worst possible timing we could have gotten sick. Yeah. But we'll explain more about that later. You ready? Yeah. All right. Sorry. You're gonna feel so much better. Get in and feel better, and I don't want to feel like this anymore. I know. It feels like you're never gonna get better. I know, but you will. She's so cute. So, like Mariah said in the beginning <laughs> of this video, excuse me, we literally just came home from Boston on Monday, and it is now Thursday. Today, we are supposed to be leaving for a trip of a lifetime. We're gonna explain more of that once Mariah gets out of the shower because I know she wants to talk about it too. We literally got a trip of a lifetime planned out and um, we had to cancel it last minute and it, it sucked. We were so excited for it, but we'll talk more about that. You could see my remnants of where I was all day yesterday. This is not even bad. We literally had me posted up right here and I had a humidifier, food that I couldn't even eat because I was so sick with a fever, tissues everywhere. I know it's disgusting. I know it's nasty, but like I literally could not move yesterday. Yesterday, and yesterday was actually the first night I slept with Mariah since like Tuesday So I slept away from her for like a whole night maybe two nights I don't know maybe since Monday either way I was super sick and look at we literally have not gotten around to do anything because me and her have just been super super sick And this is where I was the first night when I was away from Mariah I could not even sleep in here It was super uncomfortable because I couldn't lay down and if every time I laid down my cough would just get worse And I'm sure you guys know flu is just terrible I Honestly. But even though Mariah has not had a fever yet, and I have, I'm glad that I got it worse than her. But honestly, I've never seen Mariah this sick as she is right now. Like, I've never seen Mariah ever since I've been dating her for the past six years almost be as sick as she is today. And she even agrees she has not been this sick since like early high school days, like before I even met her. So it's super, super like sad seeing her like this. But I'm gonna do everything I can, even though I'm super sick today to take care of this girl because she was taking care of me so much the past couple days. Now I just gotta find her a new set of sweatpants and hoodie so she can feel all warm and nice when she goes to lay back in the bed. <laughs> We're like twins. It's so weird. I also just realized, and I know you mentioned this yesterday, me and Mariah have never been sick at the same time. Besides when we had COVID. Yeah, but, but this is I like... wasn't sick when we had COVID. I just lost my taste. You, you got a stuffy nose, right, though? A little stuffy nose, but for one night, remember? So we weren't sick at the same time. You got your stuffy nose after me. Yeah, I'm 
so this is like the first time and I've actually been like sick sick together. We have the flu A together. Because yeah. if I had A, you definitely have A. Well, yeah. It's so contagious. So. Oh, guys, I did not want to get out of the shower. I don't know. I was like, stay in there. Like, she was rushing. Mariah takes short showers, and she usually takes like five minute showers. If I'm only washing my body. Yeah, and she was like ready to get out after like seven minutes. And I'm like, so I wanted to get back in bed. Stay in there. But you know it feels good. <coughs> Did that um, help at all? Yeah, but now I'm feeling bad again. I know. Well, after the shower, you slowly start to feel worse and worse and worse. And it sucks, but in like <laughs> an hour, you'll feel like Cover it's... your mouth. <laughs> this morning, you were all like all up in the air. You no wanted me to sleep next it. to you. I know, but cover your mouth. Babe, I, did, I slept away from you the other night. <laughs> That's it. because, guys, we had a special, exciting trip planned that we're actually supposed to be we at right now. Are we going to tell them where? No. Actually, <laughs> okay. I'm not going to tell you guys where, but we had a layover in Texas. So we are flying, and what a layover is, is a place that you stop at to go to the next place. So we had a layover in Texas to fly somewhere else. It was so and exciting. We've never been here at this place before. It's like something I've always dreamed of going. We literally <clears throat> were supposed to leave on December 1st and today is December 1st at 4 a.m. I thought I was going to be able to get better because when I get sick, I usually get sick for two days and I started getting sick on Monday. Yeah. Well, With the company that we're working with, we're hoping that we can reschedule for January. We're pretty positive we're able to because mm. we, we had all these video ideas. Oh my gosh, you guys, it would have been so beautiful. Like we had photographers and everything like <sighs> she's getting so excited. <laughs> I have everything packed I, over there. Oh, I packed all my stuff. That's packed. Yeah. I thought that was just from Boston. I didn't no. even unpack from Boston. I yet. unpacked from Boston because I know if I did not, I would never have gotten yeah. it. I probably wouldn't have even been ready for this trip because I was sick for two days. Yeah. I but <clears throat> going back on to you because this is about me take care of you now. Now that I'm, it sucks, but I'm feeling better. It's weird to say, even though I'm still bad. But today I, I want Mariah to just rest all day and get as much sleep in as possible. Maybe while I watch some Netflix. Mm. It's crazy. I've never seen you this sick ever. <laughs> she was worse. I hit her last night. Oh my god. I was like moaning and groaning all night and I was just like telling Bill, I'm like, can you please take the pain away? Dude, the other night, two nights ago, was the worst sleep I've ever had. It's weird because I had to sleep upright because I didn't, I was very thumb before I went to bed and I thought I wasn't going to be able to sleep. And for me, I'm a stomach sleeper. Like, I don't sleep on like my back or anything. So I literally had to like sleep on my back side, like part, and I actually slept good. I'm actually really shocked because I was like, F I'm, this is going to be the worst sleep of my life and then it ended up yeah we were actually slept pretty good considering how we felt but also comment down below where you think we're going because i hope <coughs> <laughs> we're still going hopefully in january we're pretty or like 95 percent sure going yeah but yeah comment down below where you think we're going to be going it's something i've always dreamed of since i was a little girl that's Just, crazy i'm so upset that we had to and we had sick. to cancel but the thing is is it was so back to back because we just got home from boston and then literally three days later we were going to oh, I almost just started. We were going to the Show. place, and then after that, we came home. We were there for a week. A week later, we would have went to Chicago. So it would have been a really crazy, hectic month. So. so Mariah was saying that when we were asking you guys on TikTok, we made a couple TikToks about us being sick. She was saying that a lot of you guys were commenting down below that you are also sick with the yeah, flu right everyone now. Everyone is. And for some reason, the flu is just going crazy. Honestly, like it's going insane right now. Like everyone across the the it, U.S. at least. The globe. Yeah, the globe. It's just like sick. You know, no matter where you are. So. I don't know if I've ever had the flu. I definitely have. <laughs> I mean, I've always had body chills. I've had that in the past, like definitely in high school, which I'm sure it was a flu. I just never went to the doctor for it. I don't know. I don't really remember, but this is like the worst I felt since high school. I don't know why. My immunity is pretty good because I take my vitamins and stuff. I haven't been this sick. Have you ever seen me this sick ever in a relationship? Mm. Six years? No. Like, I don't get sick like this. So this is like, this is terrible. I don't know how to be when I'm sick. The shower definitely opened my throat. Like, it was so hard for me to talk. The Vic stuff really mm -hmm. just like soothed me, but I could still feel the flood coming. Yeah, that stuff makes me breathe way better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need to get lotion in my head. I mean, really, do you see how dry my forehead is? Jeez. Why is your forehead so dry? I don't know. I think we're sort of sitting in the hot shower for a long time. <laughs> so I had a 103 degree fever yesterday, and literally all I was able to eat was... Mm -hmm. I didn't even eat chicken noodle soup. You didn't even eat. I literally... Dude, I literally only had a bite of a burger, McDonald's burger, like three fries. And then at the end of the day, when I took Tylenol and actually broke my fever, I was able to eat like a Panera mac and cheese, like a small one, but that's all I had all day yesterday. So actually my stomach hurts and I 
don't think it hurts because I'm sick. I think it hurts because I haven't had food. So I actually might order like something. Like I feel like we should order like Starbucks or something. Like can you eat like an egg white bite or something? Or? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Yeah, that's perfect. It's hot. Yeah, oatmeal is like one of the top things you can do. Oh guys, I am so achy right now. I don't like it. It's okay. At least, I mean, I hope you don't get as bad as you did last night. Last night, Mariah, <coughs> which is the reason why we wanted to film this video, Mariah literally was like basically dying last night. Like she literally was coughing every second. She could not lay, like, lay down. It was terrible. Until she fell asleep, like she was absolutely miserable. Oh, and I didn't even get to tell you guys. On top of it, my phone in the middle of the oh. night the other night wasn't turning on. <laughs> Dude, and why, why is this like, I feel like we could not get any worse. This is the day before we were going to wherever we were going. We this is, we decided yesterday or the day before we were leaving that we weren't going to go. And I'm like, oh my God, of course I haven't. In the middle of the night, 4 a.m., my phone wasn't turning on. No. I was like, what the heck? She like did not wake me up at 4 a.m. because I was up. I literally was up the whole night. Like I said, worst sleep in my entire life that night. But literally two nights ago, Mariah comes up freaking out because her phone but anything she would do it would not turn on oh my literally God. it was just black like i thought like her phone literally just died yeah so then i even try to like like you try do different the chargers reset, but you i tried clicking the power button and the volume button i thought my phone was broken i was so upset because i love this phone like i did not want to upgrade and, and of so course I, we're leaving for a trip you can't not have a phone on a trip and then i go into at&t and this guy turns it on and i'm like i felt like a complete idiot he goes yeah you just have to hold it down for 30 seconds a factory reset and i'm like but I held that thing down for at least. I, mean, I don't understand. 20 I was embarrassed. All I gotta say is I was embarrassed because I'm like I look like that one a girl that's like crazy that comes in there and doesn't know how to work her phone. I was like, babe, if they have any, like any phone, just buy it. <laughs> like I don't care. I, don't, I like if it's not the phone that you want, just buy it because you need a phone for the trip. Yeah. I, Thankfully, the dude just clicked the buttons I love and my turned phone. it on. I got cute little <laughs> gems on it and a cute little square phone case. I didn't want to give it up. <laughs> I love my phone. And if you guys are wondering why we're staying together now and I'm not sleeping in a different room, we're both sick. I really don't think it could get any worse. And I want to be together. I and I want to be yeah. alone. I feel better when I'm with Mariah. Yeah, I even told him, I'm like, because he's going to sleep on the couch. I go, can you please sleep in here? I did not want to be alone at all. Mm -hmm. God, I'm getting like like sharp pains in my head. All right, well, let's end the video. Hey, wait. Before we end the video, I want to check our temperatures. Let's see what we're at right now. So I like to check them in different spots. So that's 98.5. I like to check it right here on your, what, temple? Yeah. Because that, there's a blood, like, um, I don't know, artery or something that runs right here. So it's always gonna be hotter, 99.3. And actually, I checked my eye. Thank <laughs> you, baby. Because look it, my eye's 100, why? I don't know, it's just- I have a headache on this side, on this eye. So tell me, are any of you guys nurses, doctors, or know why I have a headache and it's in my eye right here? And whenever I checked it yesterday, my eye was like 103.5. So I still have a slight fever, but yeah, 100. So I have a slight, slight fever. Way better than 103 though. Yeah, do me. I dry it. Check you, baby. 99.5. You have a little elevated fever. I think 99 is normal, right? No. I think it's... Oh. 101. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're 101. I'm 101? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I just checked it twice right there. So. I'm scared. I don't want to get up to 103. You're not. Don't worry. Just keep keep taking your medicine. And we got to eat. You got to get a lot of fluids in you. I want to go get the, the pebbles. Yeah. Yeah, we take these pebbles called, what, amoxicillin? No. No? <laughs> it's, no. <laughs> what is amoxicillin? That's not what we take. It's like oxygen. It's like with an O. I don't even know. It's Oxisome. like these little pebbles. Okay. Well, either way, we take Guys, these little pebbles out. All I want to do is like lay down. Yeah. So we're going to end the video right we'll here. We'll keep you updated. Like I said, Mariah's just starting her fever. And I'm so upset because we were supposed to have our December 2022 Christmas house tour being put up. Which Yesterday. We're praying that we're feeling better by the weekend. We can go outside and like just set up our decorations and film it for mm -hmm. you guys. Worst case, it'll be later next week. But we are getting that Christmas house tour done within this next week. Week, so yeah. stay tuned for that. Yeah, we'll keep you updated on Mariah's condition because like I said, I think I'm coming down for mine. I think Mariah's just starting, so I hope her fever doesn't get any worse because it, it sucked. But it only lasted for like a few hours. Do I feel warm? Yeah, you definitely have a little bit of a fever. Oh, no, 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 no. But don't worry. It only lasted for a few hours for me. So you literally just got to power through it, drink your liquids, take your medicine. And then if it gets any worse, obviously we'll take it to the ER. But I don't want to have to do that. Please don't. I'm scared. No, I know. But if it gets any worse, like I'd rather be safe than, than not safe. Because it's anything over 103, that's when you have to start worrying. Yeah. 
It's not good. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate all of your support. <coughs> wish, not just Mariah, but wish us a uh, healthy recovery. And don't worry, this month will get better. <coughs> Stay safe, don't get sick. And, and we will see you guys in the next video. But, but until, until then, then, peace, peace. Love, love you guys. guys.